Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today's video is just going to be a little informal bonus video. I'm going to do a quick office tour. <laughs> you can see Aries already is wondering what I'm doing. Uh, I did recently repaint my office. It used to have the dark red walls. If you remember, we did some repainting and I did some switching around of my makeup collection and such and I was getting a lot of requests to film a room tour. So that's what we're doing today. So this is my office. It does have doors which <laughs> are so helpful. Um, this office is definitely one of the things that sold us on this house because having a first floor office is just so helpful. Um, I'm close to the kitchen. I'm close to the living room and I don't feel like I'm kind of you know sequestered upstairs in a bedroom turned office. So I love my office so much. This is where I spend <laughs> basically all day and typically most nights. It has this nice big window over here which is also really helpful because I just sit right here in the middle of the room, face the window, and that's how I film and I love filming with natural lighting. So when you walk in, if you come over to this side, I do have a ring light that I just kind of store behind the door here in case I need it on you know dark days or if I'm filming later in the day. And then this is Aries and her bench. <laughs> I really like the bench. Uh, I think we got it from TJ Maxx a couple years ago, but I like it because it does actually open up. Show them how you stretch, girl. Goodness. Uh, I like it because it opens up and we can put some storage in there, which I think is really awesome, um, but it's mostly for, for Aries. This, this is also for Aries. <laughs> That's her cave. <laughs> she loves going in there. So this is my bookshelf in the corner here. We didn't move this from where it was before we did the repainting. Um, on the top is my flowers. That's my bridal bouquet from my wedding. Um, I have really bad allergies, so we weren't able to use real flowers, so everything was fake, but it means that I gotta keep everything. And then also that is the wedding photo of my grandparents. And actually, I can show you, it's on my wedding bouquet. I thought that would be really special. Neither of them are with us anymore. Oh man, oh man. So this is where you see my addiction to sheet masks. I have just like piles and piles and piles of sheet masks. Yeah, true story. I also have like my hair bands um, for skincare. And a lot of times I'll set my beauty blenders up here, dirty or clean. That's kind of where they go because Aries likes to eat beauty blenders. So I put them on the top shelf. The second shelf has my makeup brushes. So kind of how I organize my makeup brushes. My mom got this for me. I think it was from original beauty box, I believe. Um, but I have kind of my bigger brushes in here. I kind of sort them by like foundation brushes. And then in here is like bronzer, contour brushes, concealer brushes. And then in here is like blush and highlight brushes. And then these are my eye brushes and I separate them by blending brushes. And then, um, you know, more like flat shader shadow brushes. And these are the kind of more detailed smaller brushes, um, pencil brushes, lower lash shadows eyebrow, inner corner, you know, things like that. So those are some of my brushes. And then moving down to this section right here. So I don't have everything even all back in my office yet from the remodel. It, it definitely took a very, a very long time and you guys should thank Mitch a lot in the comments because he did the majority of the painting. I didn't really know what I was doing so it was mostly him um, and then I'm still trying to figure out where I want to put everything and get everything back in here so it's not you know quite perfect yet but um, my office is usually extremely messy and I figure while well, it's still somewhat clean I, I would go ahead and film this video. So I just have a few random things on top. The Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette, a primer. Drawers here I have blushes and then these ones here are primers so that's kind of how I divvied up this section here those are still all primers all primers and these two big ones are blushes and then in this section here this front row I have all of my concealers and then this basket is full of eyeliners and then also my mascaras and that is sitting on another acrylic drawer. On here I have a couple of gel liners because I wasn't sure where to put them. But then in this acrylic drawer I have a bunch of my MAC lipsticks. And then in the second drawer I have my Morphe lipsticks. And then these are a bunch of the MAC lip glosses. And then also their uh, 
liquid lipstick. And then in the third drawer is mostly NYX, the liquid suede, and the lip lingeries as well. Back here, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but this is kind of like my bronzer section. And then next to it is my highlighter section. And then down here on the next row, I, this is mostly like eyebrow stuff. And I have um, my lash tweezers here. I have lash glue. And then also in this drawer, I have like my eyelid primers. And then this drawer right here, this has a bunch of like my face palettes in there. And then in this little guy is where I have like my glitters. I don't know if you can see any of this because it's so dark over here, but I have my Stila glitters in here and just a couple of random products. And then in here I have a couple of new items like the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette and then also the Anastasia cream contour kit. And then I have a mug here from my friend Mickey. It says, all I need is coffee and mascara. I thought that was really cute, so it's just kind of like a little decor piece. And then down here is just kind of where I put boxes of like new stuff that I still have to go through or still have to review. I also do have um, some of my nail polishes right here too. Like this is my Ipsy bag that I just got in the other day. So that is everything that is on my bookshelf and that is just in the corner of my room. So moving on, I have this little like clear three drawer over here. It used to be on the opposite side of my desk and I moved it over to this side after we repaint it. I just have my phone charger on here. This is a stack of all of my books. If you guys don't know, I'm a published author. These are all of the books that I have written. So I just have a stack here. This is my most recent one. It's called Defining Her. There's what she looks like. Is the back cover, woohoo! My books are all available on Amazon and they're always linked in all of my YouTube uh, description boxes. And then this here is a stack of books. Um, typically, I am also a book blogger. I run the blog chickletplus.com, so I'm always reviewing books for authors. And I typically get ebooks because they're just the most convenient to read, especially because I always have to read so quickly, but sometimes I do get sent print copies or like sometimes my friends will send me their books, like Lindsay is one of my friends and then also where's Tess's book? Tess Woods here, those are two authors I would definitely say to check out. So I have their print copies so I leave them here um, for when I'm ready to read them. And then in the drawers here, um, this one is, let's see, I have all my setting sprays in here. These have kind of been moved around since the remodel, so I'm kind of like, what's all in these again? I put all of my setting sprays in here in this section. And then these over here are like powders. That's the Maybelline powder, the new Pixie powder, the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening powder. Back here I have a couple of, you know, kind of like single shadows or smaller palettes that I'm really, like, I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing with yet, so they're just kind of hanging out back there until I get everything figured out. And then the second drawer is my lash drawer. So I have you know, all of my pure lashes in here. These are the Huda Beauty Samantha lashes. The Blinking Buttes that I've been testing out recently. These are some from Nicole Guerrero. And then I just have like a lot of pure lashes in here. So that one is my lash drawer. And then this one down here has some more skincare. Like I always have makeup wipes in here. I have um, some like eye gels and things like that. I have more hair bands in this drawer. More hair bands, more facial wipes. That's kind of like a miscellaneous skincare type of drawer. I have in the three drawer that looks kind of creepy actually with Huda's eyes looking out at me. <laughs> so moving on the like focal piece in the office is definitely my desk. It is ginormous. I bought it four or five years ago maybe, and I'm trying to think where I bought it from. I think it was like Office Max or something like that. <laughs> but I bought it quite a few years ago. Um, so on top here, I just have some foundations in this little guy, my Givenchy, Lancome, got some Tarte back there. These are number seven. Those are some foundations. This one in here, I just have some palettes. I have some pure palettes, Soap and Glory. This one is the Violet Voss. Some little rock palettes, and then these are some little palettes like the Maybelline City Mini, and then one of the Smashbox uh, Cover Shop palettes, I think is what they were called. And then in this one, I love this little carrier here. Um, I think all of these actually were sent to me from my friend Mickey, and this one was sent from her too. And I just love, it's a really big, if you can tell, it's a really big um, eyeshadow palette holder, which I think is really cool. So I have some taller eyeshadow palettes in the back, like the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon and the Sweet Peach. And then just some more 
eyeshadow palettes in here. Morphe 25A and B. These are the pure vanity palettes that I love. And then also some Tarte palettes in that. And then in this one, I have some more foundations. Make it forever. Some of my stick foundations like Hourglass, Flower Beauty, Anastasia, Tarte. I have the Farcelli Rose Gold Elixir. I just keep up here with my foundations because I use it before foundation. Um, this is a cute little mug that I got from my author friend, Wendy. It says Girl Boss on it. And here I just have some like large Morphe brushes. And then I have some of my perfumes here. Uh, Chloe, this is Define Me. I love this fragrance. And this one too. Ooh, the top isn't on very well. Um, this is a Kenzo perfume that I absolutely love. And then hiding back there is my <laughs> Vita Liberata body blur that I love so much and I always have to have it on hand. And then moving on to this side, I have two brush books here. This one is from Sigma and this one is the teal brush book from SL Miss Glam Beauty. I have some palettes just kind of randomly scattered over here. Um, some Makeup Geek, Sigma, the Tarte Blush Book, Dose of Colors. Again, I, I don't know for sure 100% how everything's going to end up once everything is in here and how I'm going to organize it. This is just what I kind of have going for right now. In the center drawer, I keep a lot of like my makeup bags, things like that. And then over here on this side, I have more palettes in here, a Tarte palette. Um, this is the Chrisanna Ann Olympus palette and the Morphe Kathleen Lights. I have the Subculture sitting out. I have Modern Renaissance, the Tarte Clay Play palette, and then behind here, I don't know how well you'll be able to see them all, but these are all like my Morphe 35 palettes and then also the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. And then I just have a couple of like random brushes, like brushes I don't use super often, but I still really like and wouldn't want to get rid of. And this a second drawer down here, I have more palettes. These are all ColourPop palettes, a MAC palette, um, the girls from Dose of Colors, Desi X Katie, bigger palettes in here like La Rock, um, the Tarte Harouche palette. This is a big Z palette, so inside I have a bunch of like single shadows. Um, my friend Mickey sent that one to me too. And then on the other side here, this is my calendar. I love doing like photo calendars. I think that's super fun. And I just have some like random items here. There's like hand creams and sanitizers back there. I have a little basket of like chokers and stuff back there too. That's kind of like a miscellaneous drawer. I have my hair bands in there. I put like bills in there and things like that. Um, so nothing too exciting. I have my calendar here. There's my laptop. Pen holder, this holds random things to hair bands, hair ties. I have my watches set out here. This was sent to me from my mom. It's just like a breakdown of both me and my husband's name. And then over here, I have a bunch of lipsticks. So on the top here are a bunch of NYX matte lipsticks and then I have a couple of random ones in here. And then in these little drawers, I kind of have like my minis. I get a lot of these Sephora favorite sets. So I have a lot of the minis in there. This top drawer, I have some Kat Von D lipsticks, Dose of Colors. This one is from Givenchy, Huda Beauty. This next drawer, I have a lot of drugstore to start with, the Wet n Wild. These are all Maybelline. And then these two are from Tarte and then Urban Decay. This next drawer, I have a bunch of ColourPop, Christine Ann Cosmetics up here, number seven, a NYX gloss. You know, like I try to keep it somewhat cohesive, but again, when you're in the process of reorganizing, it can kind of be a little hard. This is just all of my lip liners. A bunch of lip liners in there. In this bottom drawer, these milk lipsticks that I just absolutely love. Some Ofra lipsticks, Marc Jacobs lip gloss. Um, this one is Marc Jacobs too. This is Burberry. And then in here, I thought this was really cute that Mickey sent to me. And I was trying to figure out what I wanted it for. And I keep it over here because I put products in that like I'm trying. Like these Ardell ones I'm trying. Um, this milk lipstick I just love so I keep it handy. This is a Glossier lip balm. I talked about it in my last Makeup Monthly and I really enjoy it. And I, I like to have it out. And usually I would just scatter it all around my desk and it would be super confusing. So I decided to put that here. And I can put those items instead of cluttering my desk with them, I can put them in here. So I thought that would be pretty cool. And then I have more drawers and stuff, like, you know, pull this out, you're always gonna find my Kindle, you're always gonna find a notebook, because I have to write down ideas and such, a mirror, my cute little mouse pad. Here is where that three drawer um, used to be, but I decided to get rid of it, and back here I kinda hide my tripod, and then also my empties garbage can for empties videos. 
So that is my desk and how I have it right now and just, you know, she made her appearance on camera earlier so now she needs to rest because that was exhausting. And then over here we have the black desk. So what I kind of have up here with these acrylic drawers is new makeup, makeup I'm testing out, um, you know, makeup I just want to make sure I'm using because I want to review. So that's kind of just what's happening in here with lipsticks. Um, I have a couple of face products from Charlotte Tilbury that got sent to me. And here I have some new products. My friend Candace sent me the Smart Jacobs face palette, also the Yes Please palette, and a face palette from um, Urban Decay, the Naked Flushed palette. I have the two of the Pure palettes, the eyeshadow palette and the contour palette that was sent to me from Octoly. Some new products here, the Tatcha Spray, Foolproof, um, the ColourPop Her palette, which is really, really good. And then same thing in here, same concept. I kind of want to get another acrylic and use it as like an everyday makeup drawer. I don't have like that Alex Nine shelves or whatever it is that everybody else has. So I don't know if I should put another acrylic up here and use that. I haven't decided yet because again, this is all like newer items to me that I still need to try. Some stuff from Soap and Glory, uh, a Burberry highlight, uh, the e.l.f. foundation. This Lancome I can probably put in my highlighter, same with the Urban Decay. I can put those into my collection now because I did review these. Um, but a bunch of like new brow products, these Maybelline liners that are new to me. So that's kind of what this area is. And then these two palettes are new to me, the Morphe 3502. And then my friend Liv from Liv Loves Her Makeup sent me the Kat Von D Saint and Center. There's a Packers pen laying out because, you know, never know when you need a pen. <laughs> And then um, kind of else over here, this was also from my friend Mickey, it also says Boss Lady, and I have a couple of newer brushes to me. Um, so I just got some of these brushes in here, and then this is a new Urban Decay eyeshadow, and then I got this Man Eater set from Tarte, so it's sitting up here because I need to remember to use it soon. Love that the remodel also helped me just kind of declutter and just get rid of stuff I didn't need. I, I love the I love the way the walls came out. I love the colors. I think it's just so much prettier than what it used to be. I don't feel like I'm sitting in a cave for hours and hours, you know, every single day. It just is so much more. It just is so much brighter and cheerier and better for a creative process. You know, I'm an author. I'm in the middle of writing my sixth novel and I just feel like having a happy space like this just truly does help me out but that's just a quick little tour of my room I mean it's nothing <laughs> it's nothing crazy but it's my office I'm really proud of it I'm proud of my desk I'm proud of my bookshelf I'm proud of my collection um, so I was excited to show it to you guys I'm majorly majorly thankful to Midge for taking on this project with me because it was not easy it took a lot of time, a lot of effort, and he also painted while hungover. So let's give Mitch lots of kudos for that because he did do most of this. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my office. We'll just let the beauty queen sleep for a little bit. But I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this and seeing some of my collection. If you guys did enjoy this video, I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, I hope that you will consider subscribing before you go. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.